Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today we're gonna to make a drink that you can enjoy on the back deck or in the house. That's right, we're gonna make a Bahama Mama because you know what? You deserve it. It's great to have everyone of you back here today. We're making a nice warm weather drink because the weather's starting to turn a little bit drab and gray. You know what? It's kind of blah when I leave in the morning. It's nice while I'm at work, but when I get home, I can sit on the back deck with the chair and kind of relax and enjoy. And you know what? I have something to look forward to with this drink. And so do you. We're making the Bahama Mama. And the interesting thing about this is nobody knows exactly where it comes from, who it's named after, why it's named the way it is, or the exact recipe for it. Some of the origin stories that you have are that it was created in the Bahamas during Prohibition era when they were used to running rum up into the US. Now, the other thing is that it's possibly named after a mamba dancer from the 1930s named Bahama Mamba. That was actually Dottie Lee Anderson. So there's a couple of interesting stories there, which is pretty great, but you know what? I'm more interested today in this drink. And I'm being lazy, so we're gonna build it directly in the glass. I'm not shaking it, I'm not blending it, or any of those other fancy ways of making it. I'm just gonna add some ice to the glass first. First thing we're going to use is a little bit of grenadine. Now, a lot of people will put that in afterwards, but I wanna put it in first because it'll give me that nice base red layer that I want. You wanna grab half an ounce of your grenadine. Now you could use a Rose's grenadine if you want, or you could make a homemade grenadine like I have, which is one part sugar, one part pomegranate juice, one part or half a part of an orange liqueur because I didn't have any uh, orange flower water. And I'll put the recipe for that down below in the description. Next, you'll want a little bit of the white rum of your choice. Today, I'm using lamb's rum. We want one ounce or 30 milliliters. And you know, choose the one you want and you might adjust these amounts depending upon what you feel like. The next little rum that you're going to use is your coconut rum of choice. I have a little bit of Malibu rum here. It was given to me by a friend of mine. His name is Dan. He, uh, supporter of the channel as well. So if you're interested in supporting our channel, we do have a Patreon page and I'll put a link to the description for as well. And you want one ounce of this or 30 milliliters. Now we get to the juice. This is where we're gonna sun it up a little bit. We need two ounces of orange juice. Two ounces, of course, works out to 60 milliliters, and the same of pineapple juice. And I decided not to uh, mash the fruits in front of you today because I figured you're in a rush to get to a good drink today. It's looking pretty nice. Grab, grab your little straw, just give it a bit of a spin, just to mix that up just a little bit. Now we're gonna float a dark rum on top. I'm using Gosling's rum. You can use whatever dark rum you want that tastes best for you. And I'm going to use my uh, jigger for this because I get a little heavy handed sometimes when I'm floating a little bit of liquid and it doesn't always work that way. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a nice looking layer right there. Grab your garnish of choice. In this case, I'm going to use an orange, which is the traditional garnish. We're gonna give ourselves a nice little slice here. Try and be consistent, chop it in half because we only need half an orange slice. I'm also going to use a maraschino cherry and I've got some amarena candied cherries here. These are absolutely gorgeous, I love them. Uh, use the cherry of your choice. You know what? If you have one, even use one of those nuclear red cherries because they can be pretty cool too, right? Grab your cocktail pin. In this case, I have a fancy little skull pin. I'm just gonna jam it through the top here like so. Push that through. Give myself a little bit of a slice here just so my orange sits nicely. And look at this. So it sits nicely. Ta-da! Not bad. 
Grab your little cylinder. Let's give it a sip. First, the first thing you smell is a little bit of orange notes and your dark rum. Oh, you know what? That is so good. Perfect hot weather drink, middle weather drink. Hell, I don't care. Perfect middle of the winter drink, you know? Because you just gotta enjoy a drink that just says, I'm gonna enjoy myself. Oh yeah. Mmm. You know what? I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And you know what? For a nice warm weather drink, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. The Bahama Mama. You know why? Because you enjoy it. Back here today. Today, we're making a nice warm weather drink because it's starting to cool off and get a little bit grab, grab, drab and gray out. Apparently I'm jamming my words together now. If you're seeing this video first thing in the morning and it's kind of gray out, you got something to look forward to. If it's, you're seeing this. <laughs>